Hello everyone, iSchoolTech here, back again with a brand new video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at how iOS 13.4 Developer Beta 4 has been on the iPhone 7. Before we get into today's video, if you happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchoolTech. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 subscribers before Apple's WWDC 20 event in June. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Now I've been running iOS 13.4 developer beta 4 on my iPhone 7 for some time now. Now I should probably take a quick second to mention that my iPhone 7 is holding a maximum battery capacity of 96% and has never had a restart. This means that Apple is not throttling my phone phone's performance to be exact uh, to preserve battery life and pre prevent restarts. With that out of the way though, let's get straight into general performance. Now, with iOS 13.4 Developer Beta 4, general performance has been just about the same as the previous betas. In other words, this means that it has been great. With the past couple of beta releases, I hadn't noticed much of an increase, if any. Fortunately, I did not notice any decreases either, and for that I'm happy. Now, I did run a benchmark with Geekbench 5, and we can go ahead and compare the score to Developer Beta 2, which is the last one I have on record. So as you guys can see right here, on Beta 2, we had a single core score of 739 and a multi-core score of 1410. If we go and take a look at the benchmark I just ran before recording with Developer Beta 4, we got a single core score of 773 and a multi-core score of 1403. So the single core score did go up a little bit and the multi-core multi score only went down by 7 points, which is pretty much nothing. So it is looking good there. Now, animations. Animation speeds on iOS 13.4 Beta 4 have been, again, just as good as the past few betas. However, unlike a Beta 3 and earlier, I have not noticed any stuttering issues. These stuttering issues would occur when I took the phone off the charger and quickly unlocked it. Affected areas would be the lock screen, control center, notification center. It would also cut off some animations when force touching and closing apps on the multitasking screen, but in Beta 4, I'm glad to say that it has not happened yet. Battery life has been pretty much the same as Beta 3. Now just to clarify, again, my iPhone 7 has a maximum battery capacity of 96 and is not being throttled. Now there is a noticeable battery drain when it comes to standby time. It seems to go down by about 7-8% overnight off the charger. You can definitely pull off a full day with light to medium use on iOS 13.4 Beta 4, however if you are a heavy user, I'd recommend keeping a spare charger with you as you'll most likely end up with critical battery at best by the end of the day. Of course, there are many, many variables that could affect battery life, such as your settings configuration like background app refresh and location services, maximum battery capacity, usage, etc. On screen time has been just fine, and I hope to see an improvement for standby time sometime soon. Overall, and I really cannot stress this enough, iOS 13.4 Beta 4 and all the other betas have been absolutely amazing. Apple is really nailing down those bugs and it's looking like iOS 13.4 is going to have a great full release later this month. Now with that said, let's cover the main question, should you update? If you're on an earlier version of iOS 13 and you are okay with installing beta software, I'd say go for it. If you'd rather stay away from betas and you're still on an earlier version of iOS 13, i definitely say wait for the full release, about a week after the full release to be exact, so you can, assure, you can assure yourself that there are no major bugs found. If you're on iOS 12 or earlier, I'd recommend staying there if you can, as iOS 12 is still more stable and reliable, less buggy, you get better battery life, and probably a better performance than iOS 13. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like, and if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber I get really does mean a lot, and it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. If you guys have any um, issues or you just like to comment down below your experience of iOS 13.4 Beta 4 on an iPhone 7, like I just said, comment down below and I will definitely see it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.